As the semester begins to wind down, many faculty require presentations from students, and you can use the Canvas calendar to help you schedule when your students are presenting in class. To do this, sign into Canvas and click on the calendar link. Before you begin, make sure you've selected the course that you want the sign-up blocks to appear on. To start, go to Create New Event, and then navigate over to the Appointment Group tab. Give it a title. The Location field is optional. You can put in the Classroom location if you'd like, or the Zoom link, or just leave it blank. Then choose which course calendar this should appear on. Go to Select Calendars, and then check the box and say done. If this is a group presentation and you've already had students assigned to groups using the people tab in Canvas, you can have students sign up in groups or you can leave it as an individual presentation. Put in the date that the presentation is going to take place and then the time for your class. You can put in additional dates too if you're going to have a couple of class meetings for presentations. Once you've got your dates and times set, Canvas will divide the slots for you. So if you say each student has you know, 15 minutes for their presentation, you can go ahead and change this to 15 and say go. You have some options here. Probably if it's an individual presentation, you want to limit each top time slot to one person. You don't want two students presenting at the same time or booking the same time. Um, you can allow students to see who else is presenting that day if you'd like, um, or you can keep that hidden and they will only see what slots are still available for them to pick. And then you can decide if they can sign up for more than one. So if the students are charged with presenting twice, you might want to change this to two appointments, but the default is that they're going to sign up for one. If there's any extra details you want to put in here, like reminders about the assignment, you could fill those in and go ahead and say publish. It does take a minute for this to come up on your calendar and that's very normal, especially if you have a lot of different availability. But what you'll see here then is that it is um, published and it's published in the same and it's published in the same color that corresponds to whichever color block is on the selected calendar. So this one was in my sandbox course and it's green, so they're green. And it's also a little difficult to tell, but it, it's sort of a fainter green than some of the other assignments for this class. And as these get booked, they'll turn to a bolder green, which is a little hard to see. What students see on their end, give me a minute and I'll flip into the student view. When a student is ready to book their presentation slot, they go into your class again, they click on calendar. They can also just click on calendar right from the purple menu, it doesn't matter. They click find appointment. They choose which course they're looking for, and they'll see all the ones that are available. And you'll see it's kind of the opposite here. It's bold what's available to the student. They pick which slot they want, so perhaps they want this one. They can put in some comments or extra notes to you if they want to, but this is also optional. And then they just say reserve. And then that one sort of fades out, and you can see it's not available anymore. If I leave the student view here, you can see who's presenting when. If you come in here, I can see that that one's a slightly darker bold, and I can see it was booked by the test student. This would actually show a real student's name. <laughs> if you'd like sort of a list view of who's presenting when, instead of going one by one, you can click on any of them and say group details. And this will show you everything that's available. And then down here, it'll show who's reserved when. You can send messages to them if you need to. 